Hi. Oh. Damn it, Tim. No, I did not have Mike Schmack fall through the ceiling. All right. Okay, I just need somebody to tell me how to find my wedding speech. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Practice. Pam is fantastic. If I had a wedding speech to find, I could easily see myself having two or three seasons of, you know, well, her and that gym guy would get together. I gotta go, okay? I gotta go. Because you can't get anywhere without practice. My speech never made it to the wedding. Of course not. What have you done with it? Me? I was right here. Who did you leave him with? Hmm? Your people? Assuming, of course, that they are still your people. If we're gonna play games, <coughs> I'm gonna need a nice Americano. The good cop, bad cop routine. All right. This will be the most arduous and back-breaking weekend of your life. I cannot overemphasize the dangers which... Did you bring your family, Simpson? Uh, yes, sir. I thought I was supposed to. <sighs> Imbecile. Simpson, your family will have to remain here. Oh, man. Don't worry, kids. This is a national park. We can have lots of fun. I'm afraid that's no longer true, ma'am. Budget cutbacks are preventing you from having any fun and for me from finding my speech. Well, see ya. These are the house rules. It's very simple. Formal dinner once every week, usually on Wednesday. Shoes are encouraged for formal dinner, so good tonight by obeying the rules. But wear a clean set of shoes. Respect the house as if it was your own. And if your own habits are leaving your towels on the floor, not attending to your laundry, not making your bed every day, then change your habits and respect ours. Every evening, when formal dinner is over, the ladies will retreat to the drawing room, which is upstairs. The men will retreat to the cigar room. Every morning, we'll have morning coffee together. We will have an evening fire outside. Yo, me I don't care about your house. Just tell me where my speech is, all right? Have a nice night.
A few moments later. Think because you're in high school musical, you can steal someone's speech? I don't think so, buddy. And you can bet on that.